Hey, how you doing? Today's video is going to be really interesting because I take a look at Special K's new feature, Perceptual Boost. Now, it's not really a new feature because it's been out for a while, but at the point that I made it in the video, it was new. So I want to take this opportunity to look at the feature, see all that it has to offer, and show you how I got it to work. Now, one thing is that Hitman 3 crashes when you load it with Special K, but if you have Special K disabled, and then you load Hitman, and then you enable the Global Injector, then it works with Hitman 3 again. And all you have to do at that point is play the game with Special K, and you've got Perceptual Boost. This is a way to test these fun features out, and Hitman 3 is a really good example because it has its own built-in HDR, but the... HDR that you can get through Special K is also interesting because it's a good comparison of what native HDR looks like compared to Special K HDR. I want to talk about a new feature. So I, I had configured Special K with paper white value of something like 250, maybe 260, and then my reported peak brightness. But I found there's more that Special K is capable of. First thing, you can go here and calibrate the display. And I found out mine is about 1680 where I can't see those squares anymore. And once I did that, uh, yeah, you can make the HDR a lot brighter, but that you lose some contrast when you're doing this, and obviously this background doesn't look so good. So what I what I thought I would try is something like I would try using the defaults now, and it has a new default called Perceptual Boost, and it can take an SDR source and make it HDR. Now the thing is, this isn't a DX12 game. That's not everything though. There should be this like adaptive contrast setting here that you'll see in other engines like DX12, 11, and we'll check out what that looks like but I wanted to show what it looks like in Hitman because Hitman's one of the games where you can load with all different DirectX versions and I have a run that I do in Hitman just to check out HDR and so I'm very consistently able to retest it in the same way but these are the new defaults here I don't know about this color saturation slider but if I if I move it and then hit reset it does reset back to that value and then the middle gray contrast is 1.33 percent or something which does increase contrast a little bit but it's like really minimal because it, it would normally sit at zero so it's, it's not that much of a difference and then it keeps the peak white luminance at 90 and then paper white at 85 but it really is HDR and it really is bright and as far as I know it should be limiting things based on my profile display capabilities that we've set up but I'm not really sure so what I'm doing is testing it to make sure in a DX12 game does it actually do what I expect from what I heard from the developer the DirectX 12 mode runs as if it's doing some kind of auto HDR and the reason is it doesn't have as many hooks into the game render as it would with DirectX 11 or some DirectX 10 even and so that's the reason why this was created because it can look better now there was like a cool luminosity graph and stuff here I was gonna show you but it doesn't exist this is part of perceptual boost down here it listed as experimental I don't know it's experimental but it is the default now so <laughs> I would recommend using this I don't even touch it anymore I just turn on HDR and use these settings now in every game because I've configured everything already I either delete my old config which includes turning on HDR or just hit reset here every time I get in a new game and then I'll sh it should be good now the profile display capabilities this is stored in special K and as far as I know this is actually stored in my special K right now I don't know why that peak white luminance slider wouldn't go all the way up to 1680 though wow that looks really bad Ugh. but this is with the perceptual boost feature turned on if I get rid of the perceptual boost then this looks more normal this red looks better than the native when you're in the native the red looks more orange oh man that sky is very bright okay so I got to stop special K and run the game again but not with special K this time there's a way to do it if you right click here and you go to launch without special K as far as I know that should launch the game without special K which is convenient I can go to Steam and do it but this is this launcher is nice when I'm trying to do a video otherwise I'd prefer to use Steam for launching games okay so it did start HDR but the game did not have HDR on so that means special K must be running but I don't know why HDR started with my computer when I start this game as far as I know it does not start HDR hmm it could be that HDR was already on let's find out something here of how I can't alt tab anymore this game used to be natively supported with special K but right now if you start with special K it crashes I don't know when that changed but it is well, I do know exactly when that changed it is only in the latest version so HDR is off here but it is on in Windows which is why OBS is making these look orange pretty sure because these should look red this looks really red to me but it's showing orange in OBS not exactly sure why all right so I'm gonna turn on special K we're in HDR okay but the brightness is way too high so I'm gonna reset it back to the perceptual brightness still looks orange but that just might be what OBS is showing me like maybe in the actual video it won't look orange here and when you look at the HDR back it's not gonna look orange it's gonna be this red color that's very bright so I want to show you the difference of the settings I used I'm gonna set it over here this is the settings I would use but I, I have to change these I don't know why you have to do this every time because you it does store it in the game or in special K but I'm gonna turn up my brightness all the way and then set this to it should, he said it should be about 50 below but that's to me too bright so I'm gonna leave it at 250 here or 260 and I'm not gonna touch anything else it'd be good to up my contrast a little bit as you can see but it just looks bad when you do that I want to keep this as close to zero as possible if I can't it's not accurate enough for me to re put it back oh what's this if you're unhappy with the slider range control click to override since when I never read the comments I wonder if that's a new comment though okay and then everything else here looks about the same as I would have it and you can see the difference you can see 
So SDR, HDR, SDR, HDR. And this is a menu. Menus are 2D. They're not 3D. They're not going to look as good, typically. And there's a lot of... It looks like the background picture was 8-bit. And like I said, DirectX 12 is being turned into HDR the same way that Auto HDR is doing it. Similar. Similar to what Auto HDR is doing. But again, way higher quality than what you get otherwise. And I think the HDR with Special K is higher quality than the HDR natively in the game engine. But I might be wrong about that. This barcode is not loading in this time. Ugh, I have no clue why. It's using the HDR settings I would have had in the past and we can shift it into the new perceptual boost in Special K. But I don't know if it's actually using my profile display capabilities or what. And it does, yeah, improve HDR results by validating luminance capabilities reported by Windows. Because Windows is going to get something from my monitor. My monitor can apparently do way more than what Windows is showing. And so I use this to calibrate it and it is calibrated correctly. The video, okay, when I'm looking at my top monitor, the, I can actually see the checkerboard pattern because I have OBS set to 10,000 nits. So it would clearly be able to see all this stuff. But on my display, I can't see it. It's all white. It's 100% completely white. Okay, so let's go to that zone that I would normally go to. And I'm going to hold... It says Shift F1, Shift F2. Yeah, see? Oh, man. F1 does this. Oh, that sucks. Okay, well, it's hard to change it. I can show you that. This is way brighter here. Wow, it is, it is very bright. Oh, my goodness. That sky is so bright. It, it looks a little blown out to me, honestly. I'm going to take a picture of it. And then if we look at the perceptual boost version, the sky looks more natural to me. What's that sun look like? Take a picture of that. And then shift it. I just turned on caps lock. And it killed the engine because... Logitech put some overlay on the screen when you hit the caps lock key. I wish I could disable that. Great. Okay, let's see if I can enable special K again. It worked like the last three times I did this. Ah, great. Oh, the barcode's taking forever to load in. All right, so we're doing this again. This is the perceptual boost, which looks more like native. And then this is the one that I set with my monitor's information. But I don't think my monitor's information is correct. I'm just going to tell you now. Because normally I would set it to 760 or 600. I mean, this is... Yeah, that's too bright. That is way too bright. Shift F1, and that looks much better. But still, the sun is bright. I mean, this is, I think that's just how it is. It gets bright. But when you do it like this, Shift F2. Yeah, this to me, I mean, definitely looks like HDR is enabled. But it's too bright. Way too bright. You can't even see my head anymore. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to see my head. I have no clue what this looks like in native. It'd be neat to try it. Everything is way too bright. I can, It even looks over bright to me where things are blown out. Especially the 2D items. They're looking really bright. Yeah, that just looks better. So I'm going to switch the perceptual... Not perceptual boost. I'm going to switch the HDR mode. I'm going to switch it so that it's a bit more reasonable for me. More reasonable... Okay, we got to put this number in here again. 1680... Okay, and then go into the other one and change it to 1680. I don't know why you have to do it for each one. Oh, it's already set this time? Great. Okay, then I go in here and instead of 1680, I'm going to set it to, let's say, 760 or something, which is more reasonable for my display. I set up a hotkey to disable it. Let me show you the hotkey. So you right-click in this window, and then you click on win Widget Toggle. You put in your hotkey, which I put Control-Shift-Back-Slash, and then hit Save. And then it now has a toggle for this, so I don't have to do it manually there we go this is what it would normally look like for me okay and this is the perceptual boost version i wish we, here hang on this is a perceptual boost and that what it normally looks for me see still similar still similar very similar oh that's three that's four. Oh god don't use four uh, this is what it would look like for me normally it's cool to see the difference so let me see like this reflection up here on the sign it's gonna anytime i click this it's gonna to prevent it from opening up that menu i'm just gonna do it manually here you can see one and two one you get a little bit more you get a lot more contrast in that sign and too much much nicer on actually i kind of think my settings look a little bit nicer but uh you get way more contrast in the perceptual boost one i tried this in multiple games the perceptual boost looks nicer in general it looks more like you would get with sdr the problems are let me see okay i crashed the game by accident because i alt tabbed because i was going to look at my notes and i didn't have them open and the game crashed but that's okay because this is a jank solution anyway it used to work in an older version of special k but that version of special k didn't include perceptual boost now that we have perceptual boost it's great to use the feature but hitman 3 already has native hdr that you can use instead of any kind of special k the only reason i like to use it is because it provides a good baseline for me to check what hdr looks like in different modes with different technologies because it works with auto HDR, it works with Special K, and it works with this perceptual boost feature, but it also works with their native HDR. And you've got SDR as well built into the game. So there are all these features you can use to look at the HDR output, and then it provides a good comparison because you can take screenshots and video and then compare those all together. Hope you like this video. If you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe and like. I've got more videos on perceptual boost coming, so if you want to see more, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye.